Hello friends, my name is Raza Masood. Today we will discuss about a topic how to calculate critical path. Uh, friends, this is a very easy topic and uh, and we will discuss this topic in detail with respect to project management, PMI or project management body of knowledge. We will see that what is critical path and what is its importance with respect to project management. Uh, friend, <coughs> this topic that how to calculate critical path, this is very important topic and uh, if you are a student and studying project management in university or you are planning to give exam a PMP so friend this is very 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 important topic and uh, you will definitely see this topic in exam that how what is critical path and how to critical path calculate critical path so friend um, as a student if you are a student so I must say that you must watch uh, videos uh, related to critical path because <clears throat> in the exam you will definitely see that what uh, you will your concept related to critical path and you, uh, you must see to calculate uh, critical path first of all <clears throat> as a student you must have a knowledge that what is critical path what what is its importance and you also should know that how to calculate critical path because in the exam you will definitely see around 10 questions which are directly directly related to the concept of critical path or you must maybe you may have to uh, face questions in which you have to calculate the critical path so this is very important that uh, your concept related to critical path should be clear and uh, how to uh, how to calculate the critical path <coughs> secondly if you are a professional project manager and working in any organization so again this is very important because uh, critical path is very important and there are some advantages we will see that in the in this video that what are the advantages and which we we must know as a professional project manager that uh, what are the advantages uh, we will get if we know the critical path so in this video we will discuss about this topic as well that what are the advantages first of all we will see that how to calculate the critical path and what are the advantages if you know the critical path as a professional project manager so uh, friend first of all I would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you so let's start how to calculate critical path friend uh, first of all uh, and, uh, you should know that a critical path is a very important topic in project management critical path means friend for example uh, you can notice uh, you should know for example if you have to uh, go from location A to location B for example you have to meet your uh, some relative in somewhere okay so you have to go there from your home you have to go there so you must know the critical path is the uh, is the longest duration longest duration means that it will cover all the activities which is on the critical path and if there is any delay in the activity which is on the critical path it will impact your project timelines so this is called the concept of critical path and why what are the advantages of critical path is that if you know the critical path so obviously you will know that the activity which is not on the critical path it will not impact project time uh, timeline it has some buffer it has some float float means slack so the main advantage of calculating the critical path that you must know you will know that the activities which are on the critical path it cannot be delayed if any delay occur on the activities which is on the critical path it will impact your project timeline and uh, similarly if you know the critical path you will obviously know the activities which are not on the critical path so if there is some delay occur in the activities which are not on the critical path so it can it means that it has some buffer it has some slack and you can bear some delay in the activities which are not on the critical path so these are the very basic concept of critical path and the advantages of critical path first of all just just remember that critical path is the longest duration when I was preparing for PMP exam whenever uh, our teacher asked that what is the critical path it's a very common answer that it is the longest duration but 
remember one thing that longest path what is the advantage that you know that the activity which is on the critical path it cannot be delayed if it delayed it will delay your project timeline and uh, the activities which are not on the critical path it can be delayed for some time and it will not impact your project timeline so this is called the very basic concept of critical path coming towards our main topic uh, first of all the criteria or the methodology to calculate critical path is that you must have to find the activities build a schedule network diagram find all possible paths and then calculate the duration for each path so the path uh, which has the longest duration is the critical path are you with me you must have to find the activities for example you have to build a project so if you have to find the activities then you have to build a schedule network diagram a schedule network diagram means friend sequencing of activities once you know the activities you can uh, you can must have to know the dependencies dependency means relationship between the activities so based on the dependencies or relationship between the activities you have to build a schedule network diagram then you have to find the all possible paths and then calculate the duration for each path we will <coughs> we will move one by one for example uh, a very simple example uh, take very simple example first of all you have to find activities if you find if you have just assume that you have to build an e-commerce solution so what are the activities high level you have to do the planning you have to do the software development then you have to do the quality assurance then you have to do the user acceptance testing and then you have to do the production deployment these are very high level activities i have given, i have just given you a very simple example now uh, i have taken a very simple example that find out all the activities uh, for some project a very dummy project or very simple project uh, just take a project of rail rail track uh, these are these are the uh, dummy project for example uh, you have to assemble the two tier bridge join winding tracks assemble and add train station place stand alone items assemble and add construction site join train engine place the train on the track start the engine and let it go friend these are the very simple uh, these are the activities which I have taken as a sample so based on that uh, you have to build the network diagram which would look like this so here you would see that these are the activity a b c d and each activity has time duration as also mentioned for example activity a will take 10 minutes activity b will take 10, 20 minutes activity c will uh, t uh, take the uh, will take the five minutes so friend uh, for example <coughs> from activity A to activity H what are the possible uh, first of all you have to build the network diagram network diagram means that you must know that activity A and B has which type of dependency for example it it shows the finish to start relationship that means once this activity will finish only then this activity will start similarly you can say from here you can see from here that the activity F can start and activity C can also be start so there are two paths can be creating from here so first of all second step is that you have to build the network diagram then you have to find all the possible paths for example there are three paths possible A B F G H A B C D G H and A B C E G H just see from here how you can go <coughs> there from like a b c d g h this is one path possible see a b c d g h so this is one possible there are other paths are also possible a b f g h this is another path possible another path a, a b c e g h this is another path so these are the possible paths uh, which we have seen now uh, you have to calculate the duration for each path for example a b f g h will take 10 plus 20 plus 2 plus 2 will take 38 minutes how we are uh, calculating this duration we are taking these times 10 20 for a will take 10 b will 20 so we have taken this time like this then a b c d g h will take 10 plus 20 plus 5 10 uh, plus 10 plus 2 plus 2 it will take 49 minutes 
So the third one is A, B, C, E, G, H will take 10 plus 20 plus 5 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. It will become uh, 41 minutes. So just take these three paths and notice that the, what is the longest duration or what is the highest uh, time. So you can see from here 49 minutes. This one is the highest or long, longest duration. So that means A, B, C, D, G, H is the critical path. So critical path means that it is the critical path and any activity which exists on this path is on the critical path. It cannot be delayed. If any activity which lies outside the critical path, it has some float, it has some slack and it can be delayed for some time. However, your project will not be delayed. If any activity which exists on the critical path, it, if it, it, delayed, it will delay your project timelines. So this is called the concept of uh, uh, critical path friend. Uh, I hope you like this video. I have tried my level best to explain you the concept in a very easy to understand manner. If you still have any question or query, please do ask for me. I would love to answer your queries. And thank you. Thanks a lot for your time. And that's all from my side. Thank you.